Hello, students. Let's read the problem. And it says, Mr. Gonzalez will hire a telephone service for his office. The following graph shows the monthly cost for two companies. Based on the graph, which of the following statement is true? Okay, so I want to find out something that is a true statement, right? Base it on the graph. So notice how this one is company one and this one is company two. Okay, so pay attention to the two lines. Okay, so I noticed that company one kind of started with a base cost without even making phone calls, right? So they charge $25 just for having the service. I can see that. And company two, they actually charge $10 just for the service and then they of course they start charging for the number of calls and i've noticed that there's a point where the two companies charge exactly the same right because they both share the point so it's very important that we understand that that point of intersection means that when these two lines meet at what number is here well i cannot see the number but it's between 140 and 160 so what number would that be? 150, very good, okay? So that point up there, it's X and Y, and that will be on X, 150. What about on Y? Let's look across, and there's no number, but it's between 45 and 50. So you are gonna subtract 50 minus 45, and then you divide it by two. So you get a five over two, and that's 2.5. So the interval is going by 2.5. So what number would that be if it's 45? 46, 47.5. Very good. So here we're going to write down 47.5. Now, let's write down labels. What does the X represent? Well, X is the number of calls. And the Y is the total cost. Is that right? So... At 150 uh, calls, both of them are charging exactly the same because they both share that point. Is that right? Okay, very good. So let's look at the answer choice. Let's see, maybe one of those can help us uh, see the answer for this. Letter A, it says the monthly cost is always cheaper for company one than company two. Is that true? Is company one always cheaper? No, right? Because it says always. And I don't know if you notice, but I'm going to just give you some brief points over here. For example, when company one did 40 calls, I'm going to go all the way up here. How much did you need it to pay? It was above $30, right? But company two making the same 40 calls was actually $20. So at one point, Company two was actually cheaper than company one. So it's very important that we know how to read the labels, right? So no, A is not right. What about letter B? It says both companies charge $47.50 per month for 150 calls made. Yeah, that's the number that we have right here, right guys? So this is true, okay? And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a true statement, but let's see the rest just so that you can see that the other ones are not correct. Letter C, the cost per month of company one is $15 more expensive than company two. Is that true? Is company one gonna be more expensive $15 always than company two? I don't know if you can see this, but as, as you go uh, increasing on the number of costs, what do you notice about the gap of the price between these two? It's getting what? It's smaller and smaller, right? That means that not all the time, company one, it's $15 more expensive than company two. If you wanted these to be true, then the lines needed to be parallel lines. So they will never meet. They will always have the same uh, difference on the amount of the total cost, right? So let us see. I can see not being correct. Letter D, the cost for uh, per month for 150 calls cannot be determined for company one or company two. 
I don't think that's right because I know what they maybe they were thinking. There's no 150, but we figure it out. It's right in between those two. So this is not true. We could actually figure it out the total cost for 150 calls. So now I can see that yes, letter B should be my answer. Very good.